सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज पर्टिकुलरली फॉर दो स्टूडेंट हु आर शॉर्ट लिस्टेड फॉर एन टी आर ओ टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट पोजिशन नेशनल टेक्निकल रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दे आर फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन बैकग्राउंड सो दे आर आस्किंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन हाउ वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर एक्चुअली इंटरव्यू द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग विच आई ऑलवेज टेल स्टूडेंट वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग फॉर अ इंटरव्यू ऑफ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फर्स्ट गो थ्रू एंड सी एज अ टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट वॉट आर गोइंग टू बी योर रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तो कई सी वन वेरी कॉमन पीस ऑफ एडवाइस आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू ऑल इवन वेन यू अप्लाई फॉर सम प्राइवेट और कॉर्पोरेट जॉब्स दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन राइट सो वॉट यू डू यू अप्लाई द रिवर्स प्रोसेस यू फर्स्ट सी द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली यू टेलर मेड यूर सी वी the same thing you need to do for this kind of the interview just see what are the roles and responsibility as a technical assistant then accordingly you need to sharp and practice your skill and make your presentation what you are going to present in the interview presentation means your own presentation not any particular kind of you know regular presentations what kind of knowledge you must be you know really accustomed with what kind of ideas you have so that you can present them in front of the panel so see once you join the ntro so obviously you will be doing their r and d activities you will be handling their various projects and unit you might work there as a system administrator and some other technological stuff you will be doing right so when it come to such kind of the profile guys doesn't matter you are coming from the electronics you are coming from the computer science there is one topic that is data communication or the this topic you prepare in your engineering as a computer network where you study about the router you study about the modem you study about the duplex and half duplex you study about the serial communication parallel communication you study about how they are converted you study about the bit rate baud rate spectral efficiency so that is very very important part from the interview point of view that is the one topic which very rarely electronics and communication students study so you need to focus on that topic now coming to the topics which are your technical subjects signal system you must be really good at what is sampling theorem what are the different questions aliasing error etc what is anti aliasing filter how aliasing error can be removed and how you can prove the graphically there is aliasing error so that all stuff you need to prepare and from the digital electronics point of view guys what is flip flop what are latches what is difference and what are a to d d to a conversion process so when we talk about a to d d to a conversion process what all parameter are very important from the conversion point of view so these are the basically kind of question you can expect from there and if i talk about the analog electronics i will consider analog electronics as a basic electronics part so you must be really good in conductor energy band diagram insulator semiconductor and apart from that very important topic that is what that is your power amplifier that is your power supplies so what if you know what are the various section of the power supplies what all components of the analog electronics what all component of the electricals are included at the subsequent stages you must be really very good in explaining those all stuff and what are their roles and what replacement can you turn and what are some practical power supplies you have studied till now you must have the idea about those all thing right so apart from this communication engineering we talk about the analog communication we talk about the digital communication we talk about the microwave communication we talk about the satellite communication what are the standard frequency ranges which are used be it for am be it for fm be it the intermediate frequency range you must at least remember those ranges directly they are very very important question and apart from this you must be really good in microprocessor and microcontroller not about the detail about their clock frequency about their architecture about their address buses about their data buses and bit of their memory interfacing and how the memory interfacing is done and how microprocessor and microcontrol is interfaced with the external input output devices so these kind of the question you can expect from the interview in the technical domain apart from this if you have some work experience definitely you need to prepare the question related to work experience also and your btech project what was your btech project if there is any sensor transducer used in your project with the microcontroller which one was that what are the parameter which you have selected when you were choosing one sensor and transducers so guys ultimately technical stuff your project stuff your work experience these three domain you need to prepare really well so your pedia education is providing the you know extensive interview guidance program for all of you so if you believe you are shortlisted for this position in ntro you can join your hand with us in the preparation so we wish you all the best with your pedia education you will be getting the success ahead and we will provide you opportunity to get some full mock where you can practice the real world environment which you will be facing in the actual interview 
Apart from that, you will be getting the HR interview and SNAP interview, one-on-one -on -one mentor interaction also. So definitely these kind of the schedules or these kind of the basically, you know, session will boost your confidence. The kind of nervousness which most of the candidates feel in the final interview, that will be very less once you have gone through these stages. So guys, really prepare well and join hand with your PD education. Thanks a lot.